Hello, how's it going? I'm Andy, and welcome back to episode 8 of Scratch Building Basics. In this episode, I plan on building another ship, but this one should be slightly bigger than the previous build. And I'm also going to try to make my own textured rust coat with some uh, wood glue and some paint and some baking powder. So yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I've got my mini ship here from a previous video. I'll just keep that to one side just for reference. And then I'll get my ingredients together. And I'll start here with my egg from the pound shop. My Transformers egg, it's not opened yet, so I'll open that later. And I've got some ping pong balls. Yeah, these are already cut in half, but I've got some whole ping pong balls here to one side as well. And then these are just some lids. I've got like a mouthwash lid and a spray bottle lid. But I think I end up using a lid from a water bottle, but we'll see that later. And then I've got some uh, parts from a spray bottle, just from the inside of a spray bottle. And here's some more parts from inside a spray bottle, just the wee plungers. And this is just the top of a tin of body spray. Uh, it's got a wee rubber membrane on it there, but I'll probably check that off. Uh, I've got some old LED lights, and uh, the wee LEDs on the end here are going to make a good detail. And this is just some standard electrical wire. Um, I've got some ethernet cable here as well, I'll probably end up using some of it. And then this is just a lid off some fabric softener. I've glued a couple of bolts in there just for some extra weight. And that's all the ingredients. So I'll get this egg opened, this Transformers egg. Last one was pretty disappointing. Ooh, not bad. Got a wee Transformers bracelet that isn't actually listed on this. So that's pretty cool. That's going to help me look stylish for the rest of the video anyway. All the kids will be wearing these in no time. What do you see? So I'm just going to brainstorm a wee bit here. I'm not really sure what shape I want to go for for this ship. <laughs> so um, I'll probably get my blue tack out and stick a few things on and just see how it goes and what it looks like. Uh, like I said, I've got my wee one in front of me here from the previous build. I'll just use it for reference, just to try and keep it along the same sort of style. But uh, yeah, I like the idea of some outriggers, or you know, put a couple of these balls either side of the egg. And uh, yeah, like I said, I've got my blue tack out here, stuck one on the front, one on the top. And then I'm just seeing what sort of angle I'm going to put these, uh, these outriggers at. As usual, just give everything a good sand before I start gluing, especially that shiny egg. Then I get some center lines marked just to help me line things up. And before I glue the egg shut, I'll give it a good sand on the inside and just score it up with my knife just to give that glue a good key. And then just to make sure it's a good strong bond, I'll drop a wee bit of bacon powder or bicarb on the inside of the egg and that'll help uh, reinforce it on the inside. And that's the egg glued shut. Now I can go ahead and get these uh, half ping pong balls glued up and get them stuck onto the egg and then I'll go back in with my glue and just go around the joint and add some more bacon powder or some of that bicarb and uh, just, just to help that join and give it a nice weld line. And then just to tidy that join up a wee bit I'm going to go back in with my 151 which is just a really cheap runny super glue. And I find that adding a wee bit of this to your bacon powder joints, it just smooths the join out a wee bit and just helps the overall effect. Alrighty. Now I can get the holes marked from a skewer. I'm going to use a barbecue skewer or a wooden a wooden skewer uh, just to go through to attach these balls. Um, just drill my holes here and then I can put the skewer through. Okay, my barbecue skewer is through. I'll just get my ping pong balls drilled out and then I can get them attached. I'm not sure whether I want to leave them sort of out from the body a wee bit or pressed right against the body, but I can, I can decide that later. This is good for now. And that's the ship shape, looking good. I can move on now and start adding some more details. 
I've got my body spray lid here. I think I'm going to use it on the front. I took that rubber membrane off. I don't think it would have painted very well. And then I swapped out one of my lids for this water bottle lid. And this is a spray bottle lid with another wee part from another spray bottle. It's <laughs> just going to stick it up in the back. That's going to make good thrusters. And more parts here from spray bottles. I just cut them up a wee bit. And part of it's going to go on the back. Something like that. And then the others are going to go on the sides there like uh, uh, guns. I've got my electrical wire here. I'm just going to use it for the windshield cockpit area. Um, I used it on my last ship, so I thought it would be a good idea to use it on this one too. So I'll just mark it out here with a pencil first. It's always handy to have a line to follow. And then, yep, I'll just follow the line with my glue and stick it on. I'll just finish that off with a wee piece across the bottom there. And that's looking good. Get that stuck on. And then I can move on and get this uh, deodorant lid stuck onto the front. I think that's a good wee detail on the front. Then I'll get started on some details on the back here. Just get this first piece of uh, spray bottle interior glued onto the back. I'll just make sure it's the right way up. And then on this one I'll go back in with my glue and just put that weld line on. And there's still a bit of a gap there on the front where the uh, body spray lid has been glued on. So I'll use some more electrical wire here just to fill that gap a wee bit. Alrighty, gap filled. That's looking much better. And now I can move on and see if we're getting these uh, ping pong balls attached. And I'm going to use some of these rubber grommets. Sorry, I didn't list these in the ingredients. But uh, if you didn't have them, you could just use some, some more electrical wire. Uh, you can see on the side there, I had to make a few adjustments uh, just to get that skewer level. And yep, just plenty of glue again. Get these stuck on. And I, I actually changed it so that they were pressed right against the ship. I just thought the angle was slightly better with them uh, pressed right, right against the, the body of the ship. And I'll just use some of my miter bond just to activate this so I can move on. I just need to be aware now that any glue I add is gonna activate straight away, so I just need to be careful. And apologies when you weren't looking, I added another wire there to the cockpit area just to split that up a bit. And I've already got one of my bottle caps glued on. I'll just get the other one glued on here for the thrusters. I'm going to go back in here with my 151 just to make sure there's a good bond there. And then get my guns or my cannons attached. I'll just shape them a wee bit here with my sandpaper and my Stanley knife. Uh, just so they're a nice fit to the, the side of the ship. And you'll see here when I add my glue, I'm, I'm adding my glue to the cannon and not to the ship because it, it goes off straight away because that miter bond's still lingering around. It lingers around for ages. And that's the cannons on, looking good. Uh, still looking a wee bit burr on the back, but I've got, still got a few more details to add. Um, I've got some parts here from the inside of a spray bottle again. Oh, whoops. Just inside a spray bottle. Amazing, the things you'll find. So I'm going to glue these on the back here, uh, something like that. Uh, but again, this white piece, it's very, very shiny. So I'll, before I glue it there, I'll score it up with my knife just to give the, the glue a good key. And then get the glue on. And I'm hoping the activator is still lingering about, but it, it's been a while since I added it, so I'm not too sure. And yeah, just when I need it the most, wouldn't you know, the activator is no longer lingering around. So I'll just put a wee bit more glue on and add my baking powder. I'll get this stuck on, I'm back in there with my 151, just so it soaks into that baking powder. And of course, both these pieces were well sanded before I started gluing them. And that's starting to take shape a bit more now. That's the back filled out a wee bit more. Uh, still a few holes to plug there in the bottom, but I'll plug those up later. Uh, for now, I'll get a few more details on the front. I'll just get some holes marked out first.
Alrighty, so I've got my holes marked out. These are where my wee LED lights are going to go in. So uh, I could use some fancy editing to get the holes drilled, but I'll just use the old-fashioned drill and get these drilled out. Alrighty, how about some fancy editing? Alrighty, I'll just get these holes plugged on the, the bottom of these uh, tubes and these are just the plungers from, uh, from a spray bottle. And as always, before I started gluing, they were well sanded. Okay, that's those holes plugged up, looking much better. And get some wire details just added on the back here. This is just an um, Ethernet cable. And um, we just split it down. It, it, it turns out Ethernet cable's got loads of wee cables in it. So it's good to use. Alrighty, that's the cannons powered up. Um, still a wee bit plain on the sides here though and on the bottom. Um, I could maybe add a few bit more details on the side here. And maybe add another wire on the bottom. Just because it's a bit plain. So I've just drilled a couple of holes where I want the wire coming out of and I'm going into and then do my line of glue down and stick it on and that's another wee detail done and then I've got my good old snap fasteners or poppers whatever you want to call them but I think I make great wee details so I'm going to mark a few, few spots out here for those to go on I'll stick them on the side here and then maybe just one on the other side uh, just to jazz up this side a wee bit There we go. I think that's enough greeblies for now. It's looking good, running out of space anyway. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some rivets. But instead of using the wee gems this time, I'm just going to go ahead and use glue. I'll just be very careful. I've cut a new end on my, my glue tip. And I'll just put a tiny wee bead of glue on and just be careful with it. And that's how I'm going to do my rivets. See how it turns out. And this super glue is actually miter bond. So it's very, very thick. And I think it's great for doing details like this. I don't think you could do this with the cheap, thin, thin super glue. And that's all the rivets done. I just need to be careful not to smudge them now until it dries. Um, I could hit it with a miter bond, but I think uh, because the, the glue is so thick, it would probably react or crinkle up or bubble or something. So I'm just going to let it dry naturally. And then I just give it a coat of primer. Um, but I'm not going to leave it there. No, normally I would leave a video here and do painting in the next video. But this time I'm going to try a rust coat, a textured rust coat. And this is a wee sample I made. This is hopefully what it should look like. I just took some, uh, some of my bicarb, my baking powder, and some brown paint, and some wood glue, and mixed it together in pretty equal quantities. And stippled it on. So uh, for this one, I'm going to darken it down a wee bit with black paint, ju just to make it a bit darker from a first coat. I'm going to mix it all together in this wee tub. This is just uh, like a measuring container of fabric softener. So yeah, like I said, equal quantities, just a blob of glue, a blob of black paint, a blob of brown paint, and maybe a teaspoon of baking powder, and just give it all a good mix and liberally apply all over and uh, just being careful you don't get big chunks I, I was a wee bit careful with it you know it, it didn't just slap it on there and uh, but i did find that over time it did start drying out so i did add a wee bit of water to it just to just to water it down a wee bit And yet it, it covers really well. It, it's working really well so far. I'm very happy with it. And um, you will see it, it did start drying, uh, drying out on me. So it, uh, it did add a wee bit of water. But uh, yeah, yeah it really good stuff. I, I can't wait to experiment with it a wee bit more. Uh, just with different textures. I think you can get like a hammered finish with it as well. So yeah, it's going to be good fun. 
and I'm just going in here with the same mixture uh, just with a smaller brush just to get it right up to those edges I don't want it really on my thrusters or on the guns so I want to keep those a bit cleaner just to be a bit more careful and that's it done that's one coat done and you can see my wee tester here and then the finished product very happy with it it's great stuff uh, I really can't wait to do a bit more experimenting with it and I'm going to paint this a, a finished colour the way I normally do but I'll keep that from a for another video and I'll just tidy it up a wee bit here with some more brown paint just to make some nice uh, spin shots for the end so there you have it another ship built and you can let me know what you think of that uh, textured rust coat and um, I hope this was helpful uh, if you have any questions or comments you just know where to go there down below work away and um, also on Instagram if you want to give me a shout on there uh, the address is in the description and as always thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye